Next thought there were no surprises left. Attention! They were wrong. At ease, troopers. This is Tophet, the planet we are currently orbiting. Sycon High Command has deemed it a strategic disembarking point to Quad 9 of the Omega Galaxy. Preparations for a base are to begin immediately. Your boy's got stars in his eyes. More like rocks in his head. Any intel, sir? Fluctuating magnetic forces in the atmosphere have made our satellite scans inconclusive. That's where you come in. Alpha Team will be one part of an expeditionary force dropped onto the planet's surface. Your mission? Recon Sector 7H to determine its viability as a landing zone. Sky Marshal wants this base built and operational ASAP. And so do I. That is all. Sergeant, full prep detail and weapons check. Geosync drop at 0600. All right, apes, we're not getting paid by the hour, so let's move, move, move! Uh, Lieutenant, I, I just need a few words for my pre-battle profile. No. Is that few enough? New toy? It's not a toy. It's a translating arachnid linguistic communicator. Talk box for short. Thanks for clearing that up. It analyzes bug screeches for specific auditory patterns. Once its microprocessor deciphers the code, it simply assigns each to its English equivalent. You can't understand a bug. It doesn't think like a human. Trust me. Well, don't keep us in suspense, Jenkins. What's it like inside a bug's head? Empty and black. It lives only to kill. Mmm. I wish I had a squad of troopers like that. One's enough for any squad, Sarge. <laughs> ah! Here, Sergeant. Just testing the power suits for structural integrity, sir. That right, Jenkins? Yes, sir. Drop it T minus two minutes. Entering ionosphere. Drop in T minus 15 seconds.
problem. Remind me to fire my travel agent. Jenkins, you getting anything? Ah, uh, no, sir. Must be the magnetic interference. All right, apes, combat wedge. Gossard, on point. build condos. They don't. Looks like nobody's home. Yeah, but are they ever coming back? I want a structure by structure sweep. Higgins, Flores, cover our backs here. Yes, sir! Journalistic excellence is Private R. Higgins. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Stand by the building disc so I can get a sense of scale. Lieutenant, the welcoming committee is here and they didn't bake a pie. On our way. So, hot enough for you? Just save us. Halfway across the galaxy, and I finally meet a gentleman. Hold your fire. Easy. What are those things? Probably asking themselves the same question. Obviously adapted to the extreme environment. I'll need to run some tests. Or not. Talk to me, Jenkins. Picking up a complex thought pattern, but it's jumbled, conflicting. How do they feel about trespassers? Uh, okay, I guess, or we'd already be a side dish on the Toffet Blue Plate Special. Cool. What's the call, LT? Our op is recon. The dwellings are sparse, reflecting either a primitive nature or a highly evolved minimalist existence. That narrows it down. Guess they're a little camera shy. Eat the nasty, eat you do. Stow your weapons, Sergeant. Their house, their rules. Skinny has a lot to learn about hospitality. Easy, idea what the e port. Sergeant, you and Flores finish the perimeter sweep. Yes, sir. Guess we stay here and have tea? Great conversationalists. <sighs> Any ideas? Sir, my talk box with some modifications. Do it. Looks like we're double D. 
dating. Don't flatter yourself. Don't turn your back, even for a second. Aliens. Can't trust them. Uh, Sarge, we're on their planet. Doesn't that make us the aliens? Something's been using the buildings for a chew toy, but there's not a bug in sight. Dead or alive. Eat the nastas. Eat do. Right. Be gentle. Can it understand me? Of us eat us butter. Yes. It can talk. So can a parrot. That don't make it smart. Said the parrot. I'm Lieutenant Razak of the Strategically Integrated Coalition of Nations. I am Colonel Tafai. Why are you here, Razak? We hope to establish a base of operations on your planet to help us fight the bugs. There are no bugs here. But the bugs are dead. They attacked, but ultimately could not adjust to our atmosphere. Alpha Team, this is Valley Forge. Do you copy? Over. We copy Valley Forge. Go ahead. What's the hold up, Lieutenant? I have a dozen ships up here with their meters running. Sir, we've encountered an indigenous race, humanoid. They appear to be friendlies. Always knew we weren't alone out here. Now we have an ally. Look forward to meeting them. Now, what's the bug count? Well, sir, zero confirmed, but... Razak, no bugs in a village full of friendlies equals a secure LZ. Find us a spot to land. Over an hour. Don't suppose you guys have an empty parking lot around here somewhere? Look. It's kind of nice to meet another species that's not trying to off you all the time. If all the bugs died from exposure to Toffet's atmosphere, where are all the corpses? Something's wrong. Earthquake? It's a trap. Universal warning. 
Listen up, Roughnecks. Peel off and take up cover positions. We have to hold them off long enough for Rico to warn the landing fleet. Still no landing coordinates from Alpha Team. No problem. I'll find us a nice shady place to park. Drop in. Commence retrieval of ground forces. LZ's too hot for touchdown. Let's try hook and ladder. First time for everything. One shot. If you're off the mark, trooper shish kebab. versus the bugs. But now, with the skinnies allied with the arachnids, Sycon couldn't help but wonder how many other enemies were out there, waiting. Day 19, a momentary lull in the battle against the bugs and skinnies for control of Tophet. Both had turned out to be a lot tougher than Sycon anticipated. Troopers were trained to be fearless, but the truth was that every trooper feared something. 
But maybe it was staring into the cold black eyes of an attacking bug or being crushed inside a power suit by a skinny constrictor blast. For one trooper, it was the quiet. Dispatch number 137B. <clears throat> okay. This is FedNet correspondent Robert Higgins reporting. As I continue to cover the war from the front lines, I find myself on Tophet, a torrid planet in the binary system of Ernara 7. The enemy were well dug in when I dropped to the surface with the first MI troops, Razax Roughnecks, Sergeant Bruto, Doc LaCroix, Dizzy Flores, Jeff Gossard, Johnny Rico, Carl Jenkins, and of course, the subject of this piece, Lieutenant Gene Razak, an aloof study in quiet courage. <laughs> Boy, this piece is gonna win me the Merle Award. Higgins, Gossard needs a body. You qualify. This is Constrictor Solvent Test 1. <laughs> Calibration on hold pending arrival of test subject. <laughs> Get a skimmer ready. I wanna poke around. Sir? If I could just ask you a few questions. Not now. Uh, but, sir, is your oxygen mix whacked out, Higgins? The lieutenant said no. Sir, with all due respect, this is my job. And this is mine, Private. You want more access, you gotta earn it. You rated on a skimmer? Well, I, I, I passed the simulator course, but... Good. Gear up. <laughs> sir... According to High Command, there hasn't been any bug activity in this sector for over a week. Keep your eyes on the road, Private. Y yes, sir. Well, I guess I was just wondering if you knew something that High Command didn't. You ask a lot of questions, Higgins. I'm, I'm a journalist, sir. That's too bad I don't talk to journalists. Only troopers. Dust storm. Let's take a look. This may not be a good time to mention it but I never actually passed the simulator course. quicker than you can scream for help. HQ, this is Alpha Leader, over. Commander Marlowe here, Alpha Leader. We have a hot zone down here, Commander. Bug activity, battalion strength. If they make it to the Montavi mountain range and dig in, we'll never get them out. Copy, Alpha Leader. Your recommendations? A conventional air attack will only scatter them. Antimatter missiles. Take all the bugs at once. Efficient, non-radioactive. My thoughts exactly. Make it happen. It'll take a few hours to work up the attack sequence, prep the ships and the payloads. We'll take it from here, Lieutenant. Better clear out of there. We're gonna light up that sector like the 4th of July. Roger that, Valley Forge. We have to go in after them. That's not standard procedure. Forget procedure, Sarge. If the crash didn't finish them, that bug horde will. You don't know that. I'm with Rico. Too risky. Troopers don't leave their own behind. Stand down, Private. I'm not endangering the entire squad just to pick up a couple of Sergeant corpses. Sergeant Bruto, they're alive. I can feel it. You better be right, brain boy. Radio's dead. So we just wait for the rescue team, right, sir? There won't be any rescue. I just called in an airstrike, son, and we're standing on ground zero. They won't risk an evac team. We're on our own. There's a relay outpost about 10 clicks north. Its radio might still be operational. North. North, that's, uh... The heart of bug country. If you're gonna shoot something, 
I suggest you use this. Listen up, apes. We have two hours, 47 minutes for retrieval. Those antimatter missiles are going to be vaporizing everything within the Mito sector. What are you waiting for? A goodbye kiss? Saddle up. Field test, huh, Goss? Fire in the hole! Troopers! We are leaving! What does your crystal ball say now? It says we should follow their tracks. Attention all squads, Mido Sector. This is Major Barcolo. Airstrike will commence in 58 minutes. Return to base immediately. All squads acknowledge. Over. Sounds like a garble transmission to me. Yeah, we'd better get to higher ground and hope for a clearer signal. Now, sir. Time to abandon ship. Thanks, son. 
Chemistry 101, Private. The high alkaline content in the soil neutralizes the acid. Lieutenant, how did you lose your arm? My first solo command during Operation Pest Control. My orders were to move my squad through a valley and secure the hill on the other side. Simple up. After all, the valley was quiet. feel it sometimes. Phantom limb syndrome. Guess some pain is never meant to go away. We better keep moving. Yes, sir. Better hope we find the Lieutenant and Higgins before they do. Does uh, Brainiac look a little fried to you? If he is, then so are we. attack zone, Major, except for Alpha Team. Their last known location was right here. The attack will proceed as planned. But, sir... They have their orders, we have ours. Be it ever so humble. signal 76 degrees longitude 48 degrees latitude two clicks that way computer glitch or a temporal echo. I can be there with a retrieval ship in 10 minutes. Sir, the antimatter intermix is complete and the missiles are loaded on all craft. What's the hold up, Major? The attack squadron will disembark in 10 minutes. into the main antenna and get us a ride home. This is Alpha Team, requesting emergency evac. This is Lieutenant Ivanis. Hold tight. I'm inbound to your 20. ETA two minutes. Alley Forge, this is...
This is Exterminator 1. We are clear and assuming attack formation. Rescue 1, what's your status? Almost there! Hitchhikers. War, individual achievements didn't really mean much. Troopers lived and died as a team. But some battles couldn't help but be personal. And they were meant to stay that way. Day 27 of the Tophet campaign, or Operation Shake and Bake as the troopers called it. In the Great Bug War, each squad worked together as a team. Every trooper had a role to play. At least, that's what the Psycon recruiting poster had said. Yeah, all right! That's illegal use of the head, brain boy. <laughs> Trust me, Sarge. It doesn't take a psychic to read a mind like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Huddle up, roughnecks. New game plan. Jigsaw Pass, 80 clicks southwest. It's the main supply artery between bug armies on either side of the mountains. Psycon's been trying to take it for weeks. Airstrike? Not an option. Command wants to use the pass to move our own troops. They won't risk turning it into a rock pile. So what's the op, LT? We follow this path through the range until it dumps us out into the bug's backyard. Then clean out anything that crawls. Sector sounds hot, sir. Affirmative. That's why Psycon sent us a little help. <sighs> At 
another nose to wipe. Not exactly. It's a tin can with legs. A cybernetic humanoid assault system. A cybernetic humanoid assault system. Titanium reinforced superstructure. And the firepower of an entire squad. Totally autonomous. Its primary processor runs on a bio-enhanced logic matrix. How about in English, Goss? Its CPU is a learning computer. Its cognitive skills are human-like. Oh, looks like we're all out of a job. How long does it stay fresh in there? What's it made out of plastic? Can the chatter. Is it on? I am fully operational, Lieutenant Gene Razak. Serial number JR902441. Decorated for meritorious service ten times. Bruto, Francis, Sergeant. Serial Francis? number FB Don't nobody say a word. All right, sweetie pie. We know who we are. Do you have a name? Registration number 102261 JLP. Serious I don't beta. know what it's called. We all are a bit skeptical about this piece of hardware, but it has been assigned to our squad, and we will deal with it. Understood, Roughnecks? Sir, yes, sir! We move out at 0430. I suggest you apes grab some sack time. In case you forgot, we have a war to win. Lieutenant Razak, I have no need for rest. Therefore, I volunteer to stand watch. A machine programmed to kiss butt. What will they think of next? Very well. Private Flores will relieve you at 0100. Dismissed. <sighs> Next! Take five. Jenkins, on point when we move out. Your decision is ill-advised, Lieutenant. My power supply, motor reflexes, optical and auditory sensors are all far superior to any human. I am not in the habit of having my orders questioned by anyone or anything. Now fall back and take up the rear, soldier. <laughs> not very smart for a computer. Private Higgins, your lack of training is impeding the squad's progress. Thanks for the encouragement. Why don't you just go on ahead? I cannot break formation. Higgins, you and that junk pile better get it in gear, or we're leaving you behind as bug bait. Uh, yeah, yeah. Earthquake! Saved my life, Rico. Self-preservation. You would have knocked the thing off the cliff. It's a machine, not a trooper. Um, thanks. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hi, how you doing? I am functioning within acceptable parameters. Well, it might be acceptable to you, but the rest of the squad seems to think you're running a little low on social skills. That does not hinder the performance of my duties. You know. A squad is a team. And if you're not on the team, you're on your own. Trust me, I know. Well, first off, you need a name, not, not a registration number. Um, it'll humanize you. Cybernetic Humanoid Assault System, C-H-A-S. Chaz, what do you think? I have no opinion. You also have to learn to talk like an ape. You need to start learning the lingo. For example, troopers don't retreat, they beat feet. Striking one's pedal extremities would cause injury, making escape impossible. <sighs> Carl, you okay? Bugs! We're surrounded! Einstein's fried a fuse. 
This time, I think the kid may be right. Stay back. Good tip. What kind of fun is that? Entomological classification, Coleoptera fulgurex, commonly called a toppid blaster bug. The insect draws heat from its surroundings to ignite a biochemical reaction in its prothorax, releasing an energy wave with a fluctuation. Don't mean to break up the biology lecture, but we got bugs at 12 o'clock. Six o'clock, too. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Flores, Gossip, Jenkins, cover our flank. Bruno, Doc, take down the warriors in front. Rico, with me. Where are you going? Drill sergeant. More poised than the most seasoned vet. The cybernetic humanoid assault system, or Chaz as he is known to his squad mates, is Psycon's trooper of tomorrow. So much for truth in broadcasting. If I didn't know better, Johnny Rico, I'd say you were jealous. He is quite a specimen. Tall, dark, and aluminum. Lieutenant, you better have a look, see. Home, sir. Better organize a welcome wagon, just to be sure. Lieutenant Razak, your caution is unnecessary. Fleet bombed this village 33 hours ago, with a likelihood of enemy survival at less than 9%. Well, my gut tells me there's something down there. But internal organs cannot speak. Sorry, Wirehead. Instincts can't be downloaded. Lieutenant Razak, there is no enemy presence. I volunteered to scout ahead. Jenkins, you're up. Light him up. Get Jenkins. Goss, constrict your solvent. On three. One, two, three! of their own. I violated no regulations. Regulations? We're talking about a trooper's life! Tell them, man. Pausing to assist Trooper Jenkins would have required an extra 12.25 seconds. During any operation, there are acceptable losses. You just don't get it, do you? And you never will, because you are a machine. Yeah, he's right. That's right, man. I'm with him. Stand down. 
Now, you. Finish the sweep of the village. Sir, that machine is gonna get us all greased, one way or another. It was a mistake, sir. He, he probably just needs a chance to learn. If we live long enough for it to get its diploma. When we return to base camp, my recommendation will be that the cyborg be deactivated. But, sir... Case closed. That glorified toaster makes one more wrong move, I'll pull in his plug myself. Alert. Defensive systems operational. Intel says the bug to trooper ratio in the past could be as high as 10 to 1. Lieutenant Razak, I will analyze the situation and project an acceptable casualty rate. Acceptable to who? Chaz, a trooper is not a statistic. Losses are never acceptable. This crack will dump us smack into Bug Central. Then we secure the area. Read me rough next! Oh! oh! So much for technical superiority. Enemy alert. Attack systems armed. What? Responsibility to be alert to enemy activity. Jigsaw Pass is just the other side of this field. Stop. My sensors indicate that this is a trap. We are in danger. Really? I thought those nice bugs just wanted to play patty cake. Field. Skinnies have mines? They must have modified some of their gas demolition devices. So we use scanners. Skinnies aren't big on metal parts. The mines won't show up. Uh, what about grenades? Set them off, clear a path? We set off one, it might start a chain reaction, and then boom, boom, boom! Goodbye, troopers. Think fast. Company's coming. You're not going anywhere without us. Wait, Rico, he must have a plan. Yeah, saving its own iron butt. Rico, little help here? We need an exit plan. Jack! What's he doing? Marking a path through the minefield. Welcome back. My olfactory sensors were able to detect the gas pockets. I cut a coolant line to create a trail for the squad to follow. I suggest we beat feet, sir. Move out, apes! Stay on the path!
get out of here, or we're both dead. I was never alive. You're right, Private Higgins. Some losses are not acceptable. Go! I will cover your retreat. job to do. With the mobile infantry gaining control of Jigsaw Pass, the Bug Army was split in two. Officially, Alpha Squad suffered zero casualties on this op. That day, every Roughneck knew they'd lost one of their own. Ultimately, somebody at high command determined that cyborgs weren't cost-effective. Good thing troopers come cheap. Day 83. The Tophic Campaign. Most of the time, the day-in, day-out struggle to stay alive created unbreakable bonds between troopers. Most of the time. I'm telling you, LT, Jenkins froze up on that ridge. He's gonna get us all greased. Do you have a specific recommendation, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Section 8, then medevac him out ASAP. We go. You can't do that, Lieutenant. Section 8 labels a guy forever. That's the point. Jenkins is one of us. He's a fry baby. I know it, you know it. Back information, both of you. Yes, yes sir. sir. Ah, I hate to say it, Rico, but Bruno may have a point. Carl hasn't been the same since that brain bug thing on Hydora. This is Sergeant F. Bruto, who, just minutes ago, took down a blister bug with a single shot. Sergeant, could you turn this way? Like this? Uh. Skinnies! On the ridge! Take cover! <laughs> Around. 
Where are we? The hotel skinny. Troopers check in. Skinny but... stripped us clean. Weapons, communicators. I'm not even sure I'm wearing undies anymore. <laughs> they missed this. I don't even want to know where you were hiding that. Perfect. When they come back, I'll grab the biggest skinny, you file his nails till he begs for mercy. Stow the attitude, Sergeant. I want to know why we aren't already dead. What were those explosives the skinnies tossed at us? They disabled by concussion, not shrapnel. Skinnies wanted us breathing. I don't think I want to know why. <sighs> the mind is their master. The mind is their master, and the mastermind is coming. Somebody shut off the hi-fi. I'm trying to think. First time for everything. The mind is their master. I said the zip it, Private. Coming. The mind is their master. Back off, Sarge. That sounds an awful lot like an order. Call it a personal request. <laughs> Call that a personal reply. <laughs> All right, guys, knock it off. Hey, come on, come on! Break it up! The enemy's out there, not in here. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, come on. <laughs> hey, nobody's gonna hurt you, little guy. Like you're a daddy. Definite family resemblance. Don't think it's dangerous, do you? I'm sure it's harmless. That's what we said about Higgins. Look at all the trouble he causes. <laughs> Mind is coming. The mastermind is coming. Don't touch him. Mind is coming. The mastermind 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 is coming. Much for the benefits of shock therapy. Well, where do you think they're taking them? Interrogation. Get your hands off me, you freaks! <gasps> Looks like that thing's not going anywhere without you. If he can get in, we must be able to get out. Uh, a little narrow, isn't it? If I cobble our power suit batteries together, then apply an initiating charge, boom! Instant escape hatch. Uh, I need something to ignite the sequence. Call him Sparky. Uh, don't we need our power suit batteries to, um, live? Each suit has an hour of built-in reserve. And after that? How long can you hold your breath? Gus, do it.
Just you and me, Brainiac. The mind is their master, and the master mind is here. Hello? Is anybody home? What mastermind? The mastermind is here. Come on, kid. We have to find a way out of here. Expecting a smooch hello? Forget it. We are seeking information. Buy a newspaper. I do not believe that would be necessary. All you're getting out of me is Bruto, Sergeant TP052061. One zap should start a chain reaction. by a few seconds when the party starts. Come on, Sparky. Showtime. Ready here, Rico. Let me try.
20 meters that way. How do you know? Oh, yeah. Elevator. time left in our auxiliary in 10 minutes we're statues saddle up apes we're going in for Bruto and Jenkins didn't we just get out tried to part our hair permanently we dealt with it lieutenant i raised a retrieval ship on patrol just outside the village perimeter they're ready for pickup but we're redlining our reserves ready roughnecks Ho! <laughs> Start, pal. I should keep you in my glove compartment. I think we'll 
find you a quieter home back at HQ. Hmm, maybe we should adopt him. You know, Rico and me and Sparky makes three. Hey, Sarge. After spending a little time together, are you and Jenkins best buds now? I'll take that as a no. Officially, the whole incident was cataloged as Engagement 2124 in the Y Sector. Just another piece in the puzzle of the bug war. Leaving only a select few to know what really happened that day. Day 89, the Tophic campaign. My grandmother used to say, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. tough to do when you're the main course. Incoming! You can set your watch by those things. I did. 32 seconds between blasts. Each wave better than a thousand degrees. Yeah, but it's a dry heat. This is Alpha One. Heat wave is clear and the clock is running. Roger that, Alpha. The big dog's coming in. He's coming in. I feel so loved. Rocking yourself to sleep? What do you mean by that? Lighten up, dude. This is just messing with you. You think I've cracked? Everybody does. Can you say, psycho? You don't eat, don't sleep. We're just worried about you. Don't be. I can take care of myself. seconds until next blast wave. Target in range, now. Firing. Missile impact in five, four, three. It blew up early. Evasive. Dog, we have zero kills. Copy that, Alpha Team. But that was the biggest firecracker on board. Talk to me, guys. The blaster's collective body temp has formed an intense heat barrier. It detonated the missile before it could actually reach the bugs. Options? Residual heat from the bugs radiates out in a mushroom shape. But underneath their abdomens, there's a significant drop in temperature. Detonate a charge under there, and it's bye-bye blasters. How do we get close enough to plant a bomb without becoming TV dinners? Molecular Kevlar shields. Prototypes, highly reflective. They're supposed to be resistant to 1,100 degrees. Supposed to be? They've never been field tested. Why do I have a feeling that's about to change? I need two troopers for the assault. Give me a shield. Those heat waves are giving me a rash all over my- Sarge, spare me the visual. Jenkins. Uh, I'm all over it, LT. Fine, Rico. Let's move. Tell me again why this is a good plan. The heat turned the sand to glass. It's as slick as ice. <laughs> Modern art? Yeah. Ode to a Psycon skimmer. We might not get this close again. Rico! Come <laughs> on. 
Turning into my kind of trooper, Rico. Short on brains, long on guts. Thanks, Sarge. I think. Oh, there's something here. Your wires are crossed, brain boy. Are you okay? Watch out for that first step. Could be a bunker. Ugh. Ugh. Colonel Tafai. Tafai did it. Yours is a weak and pitiful race, condemned to extinction. Two hours. Not even name, rank, or serial number. Sir, high command on the comm link. Jenkins, Intel wants you to give it a shot. Yeah. Humans, your time is over. Two voices. He's not alone in there. What's that supposed to mean? I could do a workup. Keep your machines away from me. Cranium intact, dural matter clear. Suburral circumference is what? What's that? No! no. Looks kinda like a bug! <laughs> License plate of that bug? Lieutenant, bioweapons are one alive specimen to study, not a chunk of charcoal. Last time I checked, this was a war, not a biology class, Doc. No sign, Lieutenant. Doc, Bruto, secure the exits. The rest of you, I want a room by room search. Shock sticks only, maximum setting. What about him? Uh, uh... Higgins, you're the babysitter. Yes, sir. I'll have him in his jammies by eight. Always hated hide and seek. Still want to take this thing alive? This is Private R. Higgins. I'm with Colonel Tafai, the once fearsome leader of the Skinny Army. Colonel Tafai, what is it like to have a bug living inside your head? It's full of surprises! No! 
Diagnostics negative. The chase, Doc. Maybe the specialist on the med asteroid can do more. Sorry, Rico. You said you could take care of yourself. You've always had a way with the women, pal. Not I. Wrong! Rico! That's an order. This isn't over. I was only attempting to destroy my enemy. I am no different than you. Check the mirror. You're nothing like me. My people are slaves, controlled by bugs. Our actions are not our own. I'll be sure to mention that to all the trooper widows. That's enough, Private. Why do bugs need slaves to work in the mines? We are forced to extract the phosphorus substance we call xylon. I've gathered samples of this stuff nearby. It's a highly volatile, biofissionable material, an organic fuel not that different from what we use in our spacecrafts. So Toffet is just a bug pit stop? A transport bug is being filled with xylon as we speak. Guess we have to stop that bug. Yesterday he was trying to kill us, and today we're helping him save his lousy race? Welcome to the Insanity of War, Sergeant. These emit high-intensity X-rays, like the ones that drove the bug off to five. The range is limited, five meters, so you'll have to get up close and personal. Sure, we'll just explain to the skinnies that this is for their own good. And hope that their bug tenants don't want to grease us in the meantime. There. Land on the backside. Now I'm taking orders from him? I told you so. so do, do not move, or they will fire. I'm not going down without a fight. Yes, ooh. Trust me. You heard him, Sergeant. Freeze. Mitte, azot ni kelo an. if you let us in on your little plan. Was it? You will notice. Is it? You do it. There is now a plasma bug in the mine. Not good. 
one plasma blast into a Xylon deposit and you can kiss this rock goodbye. Why would the bugs blow up a planet they've been fighting three months to keep? Maybe they finally have what they came for. Let's move! You're breaking my heart. We'll love them and leave them types. Transport bug, high noon. Plasma bug at four o'clock. Flores, Rico, take the transport bug. Goss, Doc, the plasma. The rest of us will deal with the bugs and skinnies. What about me? You stay put. We hit the dance floor in 30 seconds. Understood? Sir, yes, yes sir. How are we supposed to keep that thing from lighting this place up? I have just what the doctor ordered. Show a girl a good time. The battle for Tophet was winding down. Just a few mop up missions, and the troopers would be on their collective way. We had saved the troubled planet and lost a good friend. <laughs> 